String theory. As most people know, all matter is made up of atoms. Atoms are made up of protons, neutrons, and electrons. Protons and neutrons are further made up of quarks. Electrons, quarks, and other small particles like neutrinos fall into a group of objects called fundamental particles because they cannot be broken down further. The problem is that there are over a dozen different fundamental particles. To have this many fundamental particles is like having a dozen different building materials in the walls of a house. This is not good. Another problem is that there are two theories to explain motion in the universe. General relativity explains how big objects move and shows a stable view of the universe. Quantum mechanics explains how really small objects, like atoms and electrons, move and shows an unpredictable and jumpy view of the universe. We can't have a universe with two different sets of rules for how things move. What is needed is a theory that can explain the motion of big and small things, a unifying theory. One such theory is string theory. In this theory, all matter and energy are made up of really small vibrating things called strings. Each string makes up one fundamental particle. Each possible vibration pattern of a string makes a different fundamental particle. This is not a problem because this is one fundamental building material that can take on a variety of forms. The equations of string theory also resolve the problem with general relativity and quantum mechanics. It allows for one system to explain the motion of big and small objects. String theory is the unifying theory. The end.